Hey girl, pretty girl, babe, DM to collab. So beautiful, DM to collab. Hey cutie, love this Insta. Collab, 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 collab. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Courtney, you can call me Quartz and I don't know how I feel about this lighting. I don't know if it's any better, but it's definitely a little more flattering. This is the part of the video where I tell you to like and subscribe and you don't have to do it, but if you did it, it would make me really happy. But um, like I said, no pressure, just do what you gotta do. Let's get into the video. So today I'm gonna be sharing my experiences as an Instagram brand ambassador. Now, if you don't know, you certainly know from these comments that appear in everybody's comment section. You know the comments, y'all know the comments. If you haven't gotten one of these comments, don't worry, your time will come. And today we're here to discuss whether or not it is indeed a scam. Is it? Isn't it? Is it? Isn't. But what is a brand ambassador? Because Google defines it as specifically a celebrity endorsing a product or brand. And I feel like these small little companies on Instagram are trying to make people feel like they're a celebrity by saying like, hey girl, you look so good, you look fire in this picture, like that story was heartwarming, why don't we just like collab? The world of Instagram brand ambassadors is, it's essentially free promo for small businesses. I wanna spill the tea on some brand ambassador Instagram affiliate experiences that I've had. Most importantly, we're gonna talk about why I'm so dumb as to order from three different companies from these glorified Instagram brand ambassador programs. Um, what are they, what else are they calling them? Delegate programs, I don't know. The first time that I ordered, it was from a company based out of LA and they were promoting sunglasses. Like, and if you know me and you know that I can't spend more than $25 on a bikini, you're right, I cannot spend more than $25 on sunglasses. If I'm gonna break them or lose them or drop them in the lake or the freaking ocean, I don't wanna spend more than 20 bucks on them. So when I saw this company comment on my Instagram, I was like, all right, let's go, let's check out their products. And they had some pretty cute sunglasses on there, lots of things that are on trend and they were offering like a discount at the time. So I hit them up and I was like, hey, like I'd love to join your team and try this out. Like, why not? What have I got to lose? So they gave me like a half off discount code and like a brand ambassador code, Quartz 10, so that you can get 10% off. You're welcome. It was an overall disappointing experience because the sunglasses took like two months, two, two and a half months to get to me. And after month two, I pretty much messaged them and I was like, hey, I haven't got any sunnies yet. Like, is this fake news? Because it's you category. are fake news. Fake news. Fake news. You just took my money and I'm pretty bad at responding to my email. So I was like, oh my God, did I just get robbed? But it literally took forever. And so I just emailed them and I was like, hi, um, can I get a refund? I haven't got my glasses yet. The tracking says that they're in transit and I don't know what that means. And they were like, oh my gosh, we're gonna try and figure out where they are, what's happening. And I'm pretty sure the sunglasses just got caught at customs or something. Because by the time I had asked for a refund and got the refund, the glasses arrived. So they were free, thank you, bless. And I would show them to you, but they actually broke on my face while I was wearing them two hours after I got them. I was out with my friends, we were on a hike and I just had them on my face. And as I'm walking up this hill, maybe I broke too much of a sweat, but they literally cracked down the middle of my face, just like in half. That's how cheap they were. Would not recommend Greek glasses. Safe to say that it pushed me away from those brand ambassador programs for quite some time. Fast forward to two years later. <laughs> And my tiny goldfish brain wiped all those memories out and decided, oh, oh, why don't I just try this again? This time I came across a company known as Buddy Bandana and the concept is you purchase a bandana, a bandana, a bandana for you and your dog to match. Like cute, gross, cute. If you're a dog mom, you get it. So I bought a plaid set for me and my dog. He loves it and he looks cute in it but it is pretty much the cheapest piece of fabric um, on the face of the earth. And once you make a purchase, they, they claim to donate a percentage of your purchase to no-kill shelters across the US. I didn't do any research. I was just like blindly trusting this company and I think I spent 50 bucks on the set. So I got like a headband and a scrunchie for myself and then my dog got the bandana. It was definitely overpriced for the quality of the product, but at the end of the day, I just told myself that, oh, it's for charity, so it doesn't really matter. This company is 
proof that you need to do your research before ever committing to any of these brand ambassador affiliate delegate programs on Instagram because I looked on their website and there's like one tiny blurb about how they make donations. It doesn't even tell you how they make donations, it just tells you that they make donations. So I guess you're just supposed to go with it. They do have this cute little Instagram highlight on their page that is essentially just screenshots of letters that they have donated money. These animal shelters are sending them like a, a donation has been made letter to them, like thanking them. I don't know, it's very sus, it's very fishy. And you're like, anybody could literally type up that letter on Google Docs and just be like, oh look, we made $2,000 donation because you guys bought all these buddy bandanas. And then after doing a quick Google, hey Google, she was letting me know that people have been scammed by this company by either not receiving their product at all or not being able to get in touch with the company to find out if they actually donate and how they donate and how much they donate. All in all, it was a little sus and I hate that I gave my money to them now. What I should have done is just research shelters in my community to donate to or volunteer at because that would have been much, much more beneficial. And I swear my goldfish brain is getting like shorter and shorter because... You guess what? Question? Guess what? I don't recall. Then 2021 rolls around and I'm like, hey girl, you know what be a good idea? To try it out again. Why don't you become an Instagram brand ambassador? That'll really work out in your favor. This company popped up on my Instagram in the form of an ad and they were advertising these cute scrunchies. Cute scrunchie, right? But it's also a little pocket. So you can put your weed in here. <laughs> you can put your weed in there. Or your cash or your key or your whatever, your tiny items that you have on you and just like throw it in your wrist and off you go. I like to cycle a lot in the summer though, so I thought these would be really convenient to just throw some cash into and cycle down to meet a friend for coffee or whatever. Except this time I took the back door. The ad popped up on my Instagram and I was like, I'm gonna see if I can get a discount. And sure enough, on their website, they have an affiliate program. So if you sign up, you just send them your Instagram and they pretty much send you some details. They're like, hey, if you make a purchase, we'll give you a discount and we'll give you a code so that you can make 15% commission on anybody who uses your code which is actually a pretty good setup considering the previous BA experiences that I went through on Instagram. Out of all of the brand ambassador nonsense on Instagram, I will say that these are my favorite product that I have been involved in because the quality is decent, they're cute, they pretty much look exactly like they did on their website and whatever, it's a cute scrunchie with a pocket. However, I did do some more research and found that I could buy a similar scrunchie with a pocket on Etsy for pretty much the same price and maybe just maybe support a Canadian business owner. So that's always a great option. I've seen a lot of companies though push jewelry, trendy clothing or sunglasses. And a lot of the times you can find the exact same product on those bulk websites like AliExpress, even Amazon for cheaper. What they're doing is just buying these products in bulk and then selling it to you for a price and it's free promo for them because you're paying them to do promo for their crap. Or if you do come across a company that's willing to send you stuff for free, take them up on that. So those are my experiences as a brand affiliate ambassador, collaborator, delegate on Instagram. I think I'm ready to wash my hands with this. I think I've done enough. Moral of the story is do your research on the company before you give them your money. Search the internet for similar products if that's what you wanna get your hands on. And remember that it is not a legitimate way to become an influencer. <laughs> it's pretty much a marketing scheme and I just think of it as like that little pyramid scheme diagram where there's like a bunch of owls on a tree and birds and the, the top ones are just pooping on all the birds below them and, and in this case you're the bird at the very bottom sitting in all the safe to say that I ignore these comments when they pop on to my Instagram these days. But actually now I get offended when I post something and I don't get a comment. Nobody wants to cloud with me. We'll see if I actually use these scrunch scrunch. Don't know that they would actually hold my hair anyways. Be smarter than me and don't do it three times to learn your lesson. <laughs> these are actually cute though. Let me know your experience as a brand ambassador or 
influencer on Instagram. It's getting harder and harder for me to put a sentence together, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave this video now. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I would like to give you one more chance to like and subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's fine. Like, I never know what to say. Like, I hate forcing things upon people, so it's just my anxiety. Okay, all right, I'm gonna see you guys next Thursday. Bye. No smart talk, no, no smart talk. So I will say with this, these are, out of all of the brand ambassador, out of all of the brand,